Okay, coffee time, chat, and update. Well, came up with this idea, and I've already done a video on this, but I didn't like the way it came out because I wasn't even in the picture. So this is what I'm gonna do, the short version. I'm gonna go ahead and do a test for 90 days with an S series Vitamix. This one right here, as you notice, I replaced my 7500 with it. Now, there are a lot of claims online about this machine not doing well and it costs too much for what it you know, can and can't do. And so, and, and all sort of different little problems and claims and whatever. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and test that. I'm gonna use it every single day, the way I normally use my full-size machine, multiple times a day. Now, here's the thing, I make a lot of things that require, you know, more capacity than this machine can do. So, what I'm gonna do is simply do twice the work. Now, normally, for a single person, this is what it's for, single, single person, maximum two people. This is, um, this is 99.9% .9 of the time going to work for you. Okay. Single serve. That's the whole idea with it. People who buy this thing, think, oh, it's so small. I can do all kinds of stuff with it. It's personal blending. It's for one person in general, one person. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And anytime I need more than one batch serving, because you know, I feed my wife as well. She's got to eat. So I'm going to do more than one batch at a time. So this machine is gonna get, is gonna work more than my normal machine would. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do all my normal foods, my ice creams, my batters, my uh, chopping, my food chopping, my soup, curry carrot soup, one of my favorites. It's gonna be doing everything, all the food processes, peanut butter, I'm gonna be doing peanut butter with the machine. Everything that you think that the price of the machine isn't worth. I don't understand where these things come. Oh, it's so expensive, and it can't, it can't do the basic things that the blender can do. You know, a blender. I'm like, look. First of all, a regular blender, a piece of crap, is not going to blend ice. It's just going to burn the motor up. Second is like, what are you really comparing it to? A neutral bullet, neutral ninja? Is just like you have to be clear with that. And another thing is, you can't compare crushing ice with the same exact cubes you would in a full-size Vitamix. Okay, first of all, the full-size Vitamix I saw in a recent video had the low-profile container, which is like basically a giant food processor-sized blade. Of course it's gonna chop ice into, with no problem, and it has a wide base on the bottom, so everything just falls right in. But uh, I was like, oh, I, I put the same cubes into this machine and I didn't do it. Because they're the same size cubes. You can't put the same size ingredients and the same chunks into this machine. Look at the side. This, the, the container design is different. It narrows down. It has a little tiny blade on it. You're talking, comparing a four inch blade to like a one and three quarter blade. It's not even just barely two inches. I don't know exactly how what size it is. I used to remember, but who cares? Who cares? The point is you need smaller bits of ingredients for the machine to work. So that it's, it was a stupid comparison in my opinion. And the whole argument was just incomplete. Saying, oh, well, for, what I, for the price, you know, you, shouldn't, you should get a full-size full machine. I agree. For the price, get a full-size machine if you're gonna have it sit on a counter in the house. But if you think you're gonna save a lot of counter space with one of these, you're not. If you sit one of these next to an Explorian with a 48 ounce, it's gonna be relatively the same size. It, it's so similar, it's just not even funny. It's just, just get an Explorian. If you wanna save, uh, you want counter space and all that, they're really not that different in size. And personal blending, there's personal blending accessories now. Personal cup adapters, this, that, and the other thing for personal blending. Just get a full size machine if it's gonna sit on a counter in a house. If you travel, Good luck taking one of those machines and put it in a little bag and try to get under that 50 pound weight limit because full size Vitamix machines are heavy. They're heavy, they're boat anchors. They, they have that stability and they have that, that, that motor and it's built strong. Of course, it's gonna have all that material in it to weigh it down. You wanna put that in a bag? I tried, I tried when I had to travel. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can take my 7500. Weighed a ton, it was awkward to pack. Mm -mm. 
Tried my 5200 even, nope. It was just too awkward to pack. So I got one of these, because this is not mine. This is my wife's certified reconditioned machine. Mine is a new machine that I bought. And I'm jealous of her because her machine costs way less on the special flash sale Vitamix had. And I'm still jealous of it. I wish I bought my machine then. But to do the test, this is a certified reconditioned machine, so I don't want to hear excuses. <laughs> Uh, this is certified recondition machine is a used machine. I don't know how used it is if the motor was sometimes these certified recondition machines are brand new machines that were returned to the store, but you know they just do a check over so you pretty much get a brand new machine. She said that this thing was brand new at least she couldn't tell if it was used at all when she bought it so you know but we're gonna assume certified recondition to the standards that they hold it to so that is going to be the challenge 90 days multiple times a day raw edited footage no recipes no if you're gonna beg me for recipe with the recipe you're not gonna get it you're not gonna get it I'll post recipes periodically uh, here and there but when I'm working with this challenge I'm testing the machine I'm testing the reliability durability versatility all that stuff I'm gonna test this machine this machine is a test so don't ask me for recipes don't ask no, I'm not doing it. It's already enough work just to make an unedited, goofy video just to show what the recipe is. This is going to be straight challenge. There's going to be a lot of videos being pumped out. Okay, so that's what it is. I'm going to shut. I want to see if I can find, really, shut down certain claims and see and just test to see if these claims really are real. Are they valid, you know? But yeah, this is a traveler's machine. If you are a traveler, you go hotels and this, that, and the other, you fly everywhere all over the place and you carry your little travel bag and, and weight limit is everything to you, this is the machine for you. This is the machine. You, you can take everything apart, blades, everything, this, the, the lid, everything, take it apart, your personal cup, take it out apart, everything, it packs well. You can pack it into a suitcase all nice and you know that, that's what I did. And it weighs, look, look at this, I can, I, it weighs nothing. I can't do that with a full-size Vitamix. So if you think that this machine is not worth anything, then, you know, it's, it's just a foolish claim. Foolish claim. If you're a traveler, you should, it's worth it. It's worth it. Uh, and that's going to be my spiel for now. The, uh, the challenge is going to, I don't know when it's going to happen, but... I'll let you know. You'll just see the video pop up day one, boom, and then that's it. If I, I don't know if I'm gonna do um, how I'm gonna format it, but it's definitely gonna be whenever I make something, it's gonna pop up. I'm gonna try and upload it that same moment and whatnot. If they if the uploads are a little bit late, then they're late. Man, eh, yeah, whatever. All right, that's enough. That's enough of this video. That's my challenge. I'm gonna go and test this thing, see what the claims are. If it's the machine's so bad. We'll see. I have no problem being wrong. I could be wrong. But most of the time I'm right.